All we care about right now. Welcome to the other side, your new home of entertainment, news, speculation, reviews, <laughs> and conjecture, and everything fanboy friendly. To yeah. my right, this fanboy, his name is Will. He is one of the administrators of one of the many Star Wars Force Awakens fan pages on Facebook, and I am his co-host, Won't. And what the hell are you wearing? It's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you day. Come on, Star Wars day. And we're here today to talk about the Force Awakens trailer and some of the rumors and possible little bits of spoilers and total BS. We'll start with you. Exactly. Uh, initially, I was super excited to see J.J. Abrams attached to this project. Go, J.J. I was. Uh, I loved his Star Trek movies, and I know this would get fanboy rage, but I was never a big Star Trek fan. But I loved those movies. Great that he's attached. Um, was excited to see the Millennium Falcon, as every other fan of Star Wars was. Uh, seeing Han Solo and Chewbacca definitely got, you know... Uh, Nostalgia. It brought back, yes. Well, Kylo Ren. Who is he? The Indiana Jones of the Star Wars universe. Is he collecting Sith artifacts and why is he doing it? Um, what's up with the lightsaber? You know, was it the best jewel he could find? It just kind of blew out the sides of his staff because functionally you could have problems with that. Um, where did, you know, it, why does he wear the mask? Is it to hide his face? Was he disfigured? And my own personal question is he Han Solo's son? Speculation. Love the trailer. Uh, shout out to all the Facebook buddies out there. Richard, Bob, Beth, Steve, Jared, Dave, Kelly, Adam, and Zach. Most definitely, Zach started the page. Uh, and on our page, we've talked about a lot of these topics. I want to touch on our Chrome Trooper. I want to know, yes. is that going to be an, uh, one of the Inquisitors? Or is, which we believe she's being played, we believe it's a, a woman, Gw uh, Gwendolyn Christie. And I think it's awesome. Rumor is the Chrome Trooper has a lightsaber. Don't know if that means that they're force sensitive. I'm excited to with all the potential Jedi's. Uh, well, I should say force sensitive people like Ray and Poe and Finn. Uh, how many more Jedi sensitive people are we going to see in this first movie, and how many are going to slide to the dark side? Prayers are we will see Darth Plagueis because ever since Episode Three, I've been interested in that character. Exactly. It's a very interesting character. Um, any character that has uh, control over life itself, uh, possibly created Anakin Skywalker, um, there's no limit to what you can do with that character. And if Luke is, as we saw in former Expanded Universe, which I know no longer exists, but Luke was pretty powerful, darn near omnipotent. Uh, so if you're going to come up with a baddie to challenge Luke Skywalker in these new Star Wars films, it's going to have to be someone of equal or greater power. And who better than the guy who created his daddy? Yeah, well... Yes, Rogue One. Anthology going into, a, what, I guess you could say, another prequel of Star Wars A New Hope. Well, Getting the plans for the Death Star. I mm -hmm. freaking love the idea of this, but the fact that it's an anthology makes me wonder... It is, are we going to see Rogue 2 that is connected to Empire? Are we going to see one that's connected with Jedi? Or Perhaps. I personally think that Rogue 1 is the first example of why the Expanded Universe was done away with. Because it is the first example of being able to do what you want, tell your own story with your new Star Wars franchise, and not have to worry about all this other baggage that came along when you took over the project. And I think it's great setting movies between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope and seeing how they got the plans for the Death Star or you know or it's 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 a very interesting what they can do with total freedom over that franchise. Yeah, it's Disney having lots of fun. Oh yes. Uh, if you want to catch up what's going on with Force Awakens, you can catch the new novel coming out in September uh, 2015. Aftermath and the comic book series Shattered Empire, and both of the the novel and those comics pick up right after Return of the Jedi, leading towards obviously Force Awakens. I'm interested though in is Finn. Is you know is he a Jedi? Is he? Is this maybe is Force Awakens his redemption story? Because obviously he's a part of the Empire according to the trailer we saw. I mean he's a stormtrooper. I, you know, whether it's just his job or is it something he believes in? Is he causing all the chaos on that, 
what the the base, the spaceship when that Tie Fighter's flying through, and you see that picture of the stormtrooper's body flying through. Exactly. The air. <laughs> I love that. Who is he? And who? And that's the other thing from this trailer. Is, he's always shocked. He's always yeah. Hell, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I'm wondering. All these looks on his <coughs> face, you see, I kind of wonder is perhaps is Luke reaching out to him? Just like if Plagueis is in these movies, it's that who's directing Kylo. Mm -hmm. Speaking to him, maybe that's why Kylo's trying to find the artifacts. Maybe he's trying to get to wherever Plagueis is. What's with the Darth Vader helmet? Exactly. What's with the burnt up Darth Vader helmet? And the Crusader sword. May the fourth be with you. If you like our show. Almost dropped an F-bomb. <laughs> if, you, if you like our show, great. If you don't, tell all your enemies about it. And we'll see you next time. We'll talk about the Star Wars canon and expanded universe. What Have exists? What doesn't exist anymore? Take me to the other side.